inside the Vatican, there are priceless works of art like this one and this one. Thanks to the patrons of the arts, these masterpieces are being restored for generations to come. The Blake family chose to restore a map of Lucano, where St. Gerard was born. It's something that's close to their hearts and their faith. Mother uh, had a miscarriage, unfortunately, and uh, nuns came to the room to comfort her in the hospital and uh, said, you know, pray to St. Gerard because she's a, he's the patron saint of uh, uh, mothers. Um, and fortunately, I was born a year later. And so my mother-in-law prayed to St. Gerard so that my husband would be born. And that's why his name is Gerard. I followed that tradition and we decided to name our boy Gerard as well. Among the highlights, the patrons were welcomed by Pope Francis, who explained that art is much more than just beauty. Ultimately, he said, it's a way to evangelize. In ogni epoca, la Chiesa ha fatto appello alle arti per dare espressione alla bellezza della propria fede e per proclamare il messaggio evangelico della magnificenza della creazione di Dio. And to celebrate the group's 30th anniversary, patrons got to see exactly how their donations help restore the Vatican's massive art collection. We saw some of the uh, presentations on the scientific and artistic ways they've been restored. There are thousands of patrons and reasons for becoming a member differs from one person to the next. It just touches you in a way you just can't even imagine before that. I am fascinated by, by ceilings, especially frescoes on ceilings. Becoming members has not only strengthened their appreciation for the arts, above all else they say it has strengthened their appreciation for the Catholic faith.